White's challenge here is to find a way out. Playing here on the second line will not work. And black must have some weaknesses here. So white's objective is to cut off black. So black has this jump. It's pretty solid. If you try this simple wedge and connect, then black will be able to connect like this. If you try this push, it doesn't work either because black will have a tiger's mouth. And these all are very solid connections for black. So if you're a little more experienced in doing these problems, one move should jump out to you. And that's this bumping move right here. This bumping into the diagonal move is very effective in this pattern. So black has a few choices now. The obvious wrong answer would be this. Now white extends, saving number one, and black has two cutting points. So black will fail this way. What if black plays this Atari? Now white can extend for one move. What happens now is that black has four cutting points now, really. Here, 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 and here. And as long as white occupies two of them, white should be able to succeed depending on where black plays next. So if black plays here, then white can play this. If black connects here, white connects here. If black connects here and capture number one and three, white can Atari here and cut off these two black stones, thus saving this white group. If black number four is here, then white should cut on this side, right? Not this side. Otherwise, black can connect like this at number six. White should cut here. And now if black connects, white can connect and cut off black. If black captures one and three, again, white can play this Atari move and cut off these two black stones. And if number four is here or here, white can simply connect on one side and leaving two cutting points to black. Lastly, if black plays this move, white can cut like this. When black Ataris, white can cut off these two black stones this way. And if black tries this move, then it's obviously wrong. Once again, there are two cutting points that black must play, but it, okay. but it can only play one. So this is how white succeeds after number one. Of course, what's interesting about these problems Altogether is that not one move will work 100% of the times, but you have to keep trying. Um, you have to tr try the push through, the wedge, this bumping move. You have to try all these moves in all the problems and see which one works. And knowing that this bumping move could be very effective is part of the reason why you do these problems. And this is how you improve as an amateur player. Good luck and thank you for watching.